and show you how we make our shortbread. So we've got butter, we have got um, a big bucket of ice and sugar, we have some plain flour and we have another tub of corn flour. So I am doing a very large batch of shortbread so it's going to our coffee shops. Um, so I have three pound of butter, I have weighed out a pound and a half of ice and sugar here so I'm just going to pop that into our mixing bowl. I'm going to weigh out another pound and a half of corn flour. So we've got another pound and a half of corn flour and then three pound of plain Put this all in together, mix it all up together until it forms a nice pastry. And then we just roll it out and cut it out and put it on the prepared um, baking tray. So three pound of plain flour. So, Or like large mixing bowl. I'm going to put this on and just let this all come together nice and slowly. especially at the minute with coronavirus, 
and um, a nice wee bag of shortbread to give to somebody. And um, we doorstep, and um, would be lovely a wee gift to, to offer. So just wait and this bit of batch all coming together. And then I will roll it out and cut it and show you just the size and the depth that we normally cut our, our shortbread to. You can put the pastry in the fridge for a period of time, but normally I just work with it straight away. So just kind of knead it together, and then you're just using a rolling pin to roll it out. Out and see, and then I'm going to take a pastry cutter, it can be any size. Now, this one is about eight centimeters in diameter. Now, I'm just going to cut them all out. So, we like to have these quite thick um, for our coffee shops, so kind of like that. Just well work my way through cutting this big batch all out. We'll pop it in, in the oven um, and allow it to cook and then we will just come on and show you quickly when they're cooked and um, sprinkled with sugar and then you can enjoy them as a little treat. So that's the start of the shortbread making and we will show you the end result. So we are just popping back on again to show you our finished shortbread. So we have our dry shortbread all nicely baked and just dust it in castor sugar. So allow them to cool and then you can pop them into an airtight box and they will cook nicely in that. So hopefully you enjoyed the wee tutorial on shortbread and I will hopefully see you again all soon for another tutorial. Thank you, bye bye.